Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please go ahead and subscribe before you leave. And um, I definitely will be posting videos about lifestyle, motherhood, and makeup. Um, in this video, you're going to see that I was talking in the background, but I couldn't really use my video because it was way too long. I, I had to do the voiceovers this time again. Um, today, I'm going to be creating a look using the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil, Anastasia Beverly Hills Rivera Palette, and Morphe Times Jacqueline Hill more, uh, Bling Boss Palette. And this look is going to have some blues, orange, yellow, pink purples, um, just a mixture, black, um, yeah, so I've already primed my face and done my brows here, and um, I'm going to start off with adding some concealer to my lids and setting it before I add on the colors, because I feel like doing that definitely helps with the colors to pop, and that's what I want. So in this video, originally I was talking live because I wanted to be able to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I was just yapping away. <laughs> um, here I'm showing my skin because I want you to see before I do have some acne scarring and just some spots on my face um, that are darker and stuff. And the Juvia's Place Foundation is freaking a miracle worker. Like, it is so amazing and I just want you guys to see my skin before I apply it so you can see the difference. So yeah, here I'm, I'm starting with that concealer over the lid. So um, a little bit about myself. I am a mother of two. I am engaged. My son is 10. My daughter is two years old. Two totally different phases of life. Um, I'm getting married in August this year. I'm super excited, super scared, super nervous. Um, and overwhelmed. I work in the IT field currently, but I love makeup. I love makeup. I just do. Um, I've always loved makeup and I let it go for a few years and over time I, you know, I suffer anxiety and um, I feel like I needed to pick up obviously something that was going to be something that made me happy that I did for me at the end of my day and I went back to makeup and I'm glad I did. I'm so glad I did. It really does make me so happy. Um, eventually I do plan on becoming a freelance makeup artist as I continue to practice and build on my skills. Um, I would really enjoy that as well. Um, what else? What else? I started YouTube, this YouTube channel. Uh, I've been going back and forth about starting it for a while, but um, you know, because of fear, insecurities, all that stuff, lack of time management. Um, but I wanted to start it because I, I wanted to be able to reach out to others the way that I, when I go on YouTube, just when I'm, you know, chilling on the bed or whatever, like I go on YouTube to look at other people's videos of, that inspire me or like things that I'm interested in. And those people all touch me in different ways. So I would love to do that to other people as well and just you know help them with my life experiences and any tips along the way um, here I'm applying several layers of yellow above my crease higher up on the lid from the take me back to Brazil palette by BH cosmetics oh sorry I went I got ahead of myself <laughs> I, I set my eyes and now I'm adding the NYX jumbo pencil in the color milk and the reason why I decided to add that as well is just because I wanted that extra layer to be able to have those colors pop on top. And I, I love my NYX pencil. I use it all the time. But yes, so I am half Puerto Rican, half Ecuadorian. Um, I'm originally from New York, but I've been in North Carolina for a very long time. Um, too long actually. <laughs> Another reason why I also decided to do a voiceover is because my two-year-old was actually sitting right next to me watching her YouTube videos on, on nursery rhymes. I don't know if anyone else's children watch it. It's called Coco Melon. She loves it so she was watching that so you would have heard a lot of nursery rhymes playing in the background but I can't promise you that that won't ever happen because hey mom life.
starting to apply the yellow and I started off with a fluffy brush but it just wasn't doing the job for me so I went and grabbed this other brush here from e.l.f. Cosmetics and I definitely layered and packed that yellow on because I wanted it to really show. If you guys want to see any specific type of looks, leave me a comment below, um, reviews on any products or any different palettes, I'll definitely be able to do those as well. If you're wondering, you know, how, how a palette is or how something is before you go out and buy it, just comment down below. Talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> I'm also going to go ahead and link my Instagram and my Twitter uh, handles on bottom of the video as well. I'm going to be layering orange after the yellow and it's going to still be above my crease but not, not overpowering the yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that blend and then in towards my crease I'm going to add hot pink and some purple as well. All right, so here I have already added the purple. I'm gonna um, be adding some blue, and this is coming from a loose pigment from Moon Girl Cos or Moon Girl Lashes. I'm sorry. Um, I really liked this pigment. It's my first time ever using it, so I started off slow and then build up. Um, but I didn't really need to build up much because it was super pigmented. So I'm applying that to the inner corner of my lid and blending it out towards the middle. I'm adding some more purple. And next I'm also going to be using black from the Take Me Back to Brazil palette towards the corner of my eye and the outer corner of my eye and blend it back up towards the blue as well. Here, I'm just blending, blending, blending. Next, I'm going to go into the Rivera palette because I felt like this look needed like some type of like, shimmer or glitter. So I started out with it in the middle of my lid, but then realized it was going to look super nice all over the blue. It was like a blue, silvery glitter. And so I went ahead and did that. It was really, it was a really pretty glitter. So... And I am so girly, I love glitter. <laughs> but I love it, I feel like it gave this look, it looked like the night sky and then like with stars, but then like the sun was still kind of setting, but the sky was getting dark. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but um, it made me look, think of the sky for sure. I'm just retouching on some of those bright colors up top and just blending. It was my first time really um, dealing with super dark shades and then lighter shade at the top, so I just wanted to make sure it worked. I'm going to stop with the eyes for now and focus on my face. Alright, so I'm just blending out and adding some more, retouching the bright colors up top. I'm going to leave my eyes alone for now and just focus on my face. And so I'm going to go in with Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation in the color Bogota 500. And again, I'm going to just say that this foundation, it goes on full, full coverage. But I promise you, it is super lightweight. It feels like I'm wearing like a tinted moisturizer and it's not, it's not cakey at all or heavy on my skin. I definitely tried full coverage foundations where I'm like, oh my god, I need to wash my face ASAP. 
And I've had this foundation on full work day and it's lasted the whole time. Next I'm going to go in with my NYX Dual Contour Stick, which I love, love, love because it makes contouring so easy. And I love contouring, it's so much fun just to draw all these lines on your face. Um, I love the one with the dots too, I gotta try that next time. And so after this I'm just going to go in with my Beauty Blender and blend that out. Next I'm going in with my Milani bronzer, bronzer, which I love, and some blush from Ulta. And here I am looking for my black eyeliner because I just cannot get my legs together. this I'm just blending out some more I'm gonna be adding some color to the lower lid I started off with a skinny brush to apply the color on the bottom, but it just wasn't working. So I went in clean, then got one of my thicker brushes that I was using earlier from e.l.f. And the first color I'm layering on the bottom lid is orange, and I'm putting that all across my waterline and a little bit lower. And then after that, I'm going to layer some of the hot pink I used as well, and do that from like the middle to the outer corner of my eye. And then um, I also added in some purple to blend out to towards the corner of my outer corner. Just to make it all come together. Lastly, I'm going to add this wonderful highlighter by Kylie Cosmetics, Ice Me Out, my fave. It's freaking amazing. And then I'm also going to be using Kylie's Lip Kit and I'm going to add my lashes. Alright guys, this is my finished look. I feel like it came out amazing. I hope you liked it. Um, I'll try and not talk so much nonsense next time. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, but I'll try and add some more music next time and there won't be nursery rhymes playing in the background. I can't make any promises though. <laughs>